Hello and welcome to another TechIt tutorial. This time I'll be continuing big reactors with cyanite reprocessing. Um, cyanite is the waste that you get from a reactor that is currently running. Once it gets to a thousand millibuckets of waste, it ejects a single ingot of cyanite. Oh look at that, a small 3x3 three three reactor that is complete and utter crap. Alright, so Let's have this be the input and that be the output. Nothing too special there, just a small 3x3 three three reactor that will be not that great. Alright, so here's where it is. We're almost to a thousand millibuckets. When it gets to a thousand, you'll see it tick over to a thousand, then immediately drop down to zero. Yep immediately went to empty and we have a single cyanide ingot in our cyanite reprocessor. Alright, so this is the whole point of this video right here, the cyanite reprocessor. It is a single block, it needs water and two bars of cyanite in order to function, so let's grab an extra bar of cyanite. Let's hold on to that for now. Now to uh, get this all automated you need to have the input coming into the red panel, which for me is on the back, and the uh, the output coming out of the green, which for me is on the left, going into this small chest here. You also need water, which comes from the blue slot, and I just have an aqueous accumulator generating that. Alright, so now that we know what the cyanide reprocessor ha needs for its inputs and outputs, let's stick the second cyanide ingot in, and there it goes. It's working on reprocessing the cyanide. Alright, so it reprocessed the cyanide, it used a little bit of water, used a little bit of energy, and we got a single plutonium ingot in exchange for that. Alright, now you might be wondering what's the difference between plutonium and yellowium? The answer is exactly nothing. You just stick the plutonium in there, we stuck two in there and then we go over here and turn on the reactor and what do you know it boots up just like normal this is a 3x3 three three crappy reactor so don't expect anything from it in terms of output it was there just for kicks and giggles alright so I decided to go the highly inefficient reactor route I made a 5 by 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and have the entire center all fuel rods. It is highly inefficient, but it is still outputting 8.6 KRF per tick, so even with its inefficiencies, it's still outputting a lot. Um, anyway, so it's uh, outputting 0.37 millibuckets per tick, and it's already output one way, so I have to go find that real quick. And direction out, eject waste. There we go. Alright, 100 millibuckets left. And it's almost done. Alright, so a thousand millibuckets, and it in fact did output a single cyanide ingot. So technically, uh, you could hook this up to the cyanide reprocessor and run a second reactor solely off of blue blue orium which is what this reactor is so let's just stick another ingot in there and it got eaten and it's back up to 100 percent full all right so that is cyanide reprocessing the quick and dirty of it just to recap is you need cyanide which goes into the cyanide reprocessor you need two cyanide ingots to make one plutonium ingot, which acts the exact same as one yellowium ingot. Alright. Oh, and uh, blu plutonium will output uh, cyanite from its reactor as well. So that is how you can become even more efficient with your reactor. This concludes the tutorial for Big Reactor's Cyanite Reprocessor. Join me next time where I go through the basics of Big Reactor's Big Turbines. Thanks. Bye-bye now.